So a while back, I put a Mega Moto 212 together with a Tillerson 225, and I got the bike up to 57 miles an hour and 3.34 zero to 30, and that's with the driver driven. So to see if I can break this bike into the 60 mile an hour range and maybe be a little bit quicker, I'm gonna swap out the Tillerson 225 for this Predator 223 with the 58 millimeter stroker kit. I'm gonna use the same car, same header pipe, same gear ratio, and we'll see if the Predator 223 is any quicker or faster than the Tillerson 225. Pull a Tilly off this bike. Pull a 223 off this one. Throw the 223 back on here. It'll be interesting to see with a longer stroke, maybe a little more torque, if it's better for this big bike. Take it out for zero to 30 at top speed and find out. So we have to be 3.34 zero to 30 and 57.24 top speed to beat the Tillerson 225. Megamoto 212 with the Predator 223. This thing seems pretty quick. A 3.21. So I think that's a little bit quicker. We had to beat what, 3.34. So it beat it first time out from zero to 30. Let me try that again. All right, zero to 30. Predator 223, Mega Motor 212. Okay, see what it did this time. Ooh, a 3.15 is even quicker. So we knocked off a couple tenths with the 223 versus the 225. So let me do top speed now. I think we have to be 57 miles an hour. 57.24 miles per hour. Mega Moto 212 with a Predator 223.
Okay, let's see what we did for top speed. 62.43. So this thing broke into the 60s. Five miles an hour faster. So the Megamoto 212 with the 223 was actually quicker and faster. So with the 225, the bike did 3.34s out of 30 and 57.24 top speed. Then I added the 223 with the 275 cam and it did 3.15s out of 30. So it dropped a couple tenths and then did 62.43. So it was like five miles an hour faster. So that longer stroke and that bigger cam makes a big difference on the Megamoto 212. I think that longer stroke adds a little bit of torque, helps pull that extra weight of that bigger bike. 